Hello and welcome to a, another little video on the farm. This is about the uh, wash bay that I built a few years ago. Unfortunately, back then I wasn't really making little YouTube videos. So I'm just gonna walk you through it and show you uh, what I've got. So on this side, I've got one pressure washer hose and it's teed off here. So one goes that way, one goes that way. One pipe goes around there to this side. So I've got two pressure washer hoses, but this one, it, this hose here acts as a pressure washer and a snow foam as well for cleaning everything. So it's got a quick, quick release that, that just uh, oh, clips on there like that. There we go. This is the stuff I use, Maximus Plus. So I'm gonna wash this digger here. And I've also got these steps that I made quite a few years ago, just here. And there, so we can go up on top and like wash the roofs of kit and the windows of load oars on the side of the combine safely without having to sort of climb up the side and slip off. Got my two brushes here for everything cleaning. So this one, I've got chemical that comes out of the other gun as well. That is done through the pressure washer. And sometimes it can take quite a while if you have to go and turn it on in the pressure washer. It can take quite a while for it to come out. Well, not quite a while, but then once you're done with it as well, you have to drain it all out. Whereas this is instant. I just want the end tightening up there, but you get the gist of it. And we get all the roof from up here as well. So that's the Maximus uh, washer just there. I'll hang that back up so I can go down and get it. Just got a bit of a nozzle in the end. And then this lance here is obviously just a standard pressure washer one. sump so this sump it's about it's about 1.6 meters deep and then it's got a, a little bit up there a pipe which i'm going to take this off and show you how it sort of works so i made this grill this grill's made of c channel and it's um it's 60 mil 60 mil deep c channel and i always drive over it with loads of big kit and it's it's never broken yet fingers crossed also on the side here as well We've got a 50 meter airline, which are obviously retractable. And then the compressor is inside. I've also got a bin for when, you know, you clean the cabs out, you put everything in the bin so it's not all blown around the yard, keep it nice and neat and tidy. The wash bay is all lit up with LED lights, one there and one over the other side. Inside we have, obviously the switches, we've got a light up there. And we've got a fire extinguisher and then a pro lube greaser which is obviously for grease and everything. Another fire extinguisher. And then this pressure washer is a diesel steam cleaner. Uh, however you say that, air LA or, or whatever. And that obviously just goes through there. Oh, got a little drip there as well. That just goes through there like that. And then it's got a T on the end here. So you just slacken that off when it freezes and it drains all the pipe with all the water. And then behind this, there's a small tube heater. And when it freezes, it keeps this whole whole thing nice and warm and, you know, doesn't, the pressure washer doesn't freeze up. So, compressor. It's quite an old compressor. We've got a new one coming next week. So this, all, this is all a work in progress. So this compressor obviously feeds through there, like that. Got a few grease cartridges and a few other bits. And then this here, this is a barrel of grease. I'm waiting for the, it looks a bit correct because I, when I put it in here, it fell over and broke. But I'm waiting for a big pump to go in the top here. And then I'm gonna run that through 
back through the outside and have a grease portal next to the next to the um, air one, then have the pressure washer as well. So just giving this a bit of a clean, the grill that obviously goes in the top. Just I put these blocks on around the outside because I didn't want this tight against the concrete. I thought it could get stuck in when it gets full of mud and everything. So I made it slightly smaller and put these blocks all the way around so it's easier to get out. And the other reason I use seed channel is so I can just hook the digger bucket under there and lift the whole thing out as it is like that at the moment. Because I didn't want to have to put straps around it and try and lift it all off. I thought that's going to be a bit of a pain. So I've taken that off. And then a little bit of rubbish in there and look, it's all, it's all soil and basically, basically all that goes down this is soil and water. So give the outside a bit of a clean. Obviously it needs to sit flat. So I'm gonna start digging it out. Should be just a lot of sludge in the bottom here. There it is, look that glove out as well and then i'll probably because it's only soil and water in here i'll take that bit out as well i'm gonna uh go and mix this in with a muck heap and then it'll obviously just be spread back onto the fields because that's where it's all come from in the first place it's all the tractors just washing the soil off it which then goes into this interceptor pit So I've emptied uh, half of it, I've got all the sludge out the bottom, it's just sort of water left now, a lot of mucky water, soily water, and um, when we constructed this, all we did, we dug like a big hole, and then we concreted the whole bottom of the hole, and then I'll show you in this picture, because I haven't got any videos of us doing it, in this picture it shows you, we made like a, a box, and sat it inside the hole to pour the concrete around the edge, and then we put steel in as well and made this little bit out here. So this is a pipe. I'll explain that bit in a minute. So this was during construction. We've made a plyboard box with two before wood and we've sat it in the hole, ready to pour the concrete around the outside. We've also put some mesh in to make it a bit stronger as well. So after we poured the concrete around the box, we then the next day poured the concrete for the slab, which is an RC45 mix with slot fibers in. And what it is, the whole pad is dished in towards the box, so any runoff goes into the interceptor and then up to the up the pipe in the soakaway. So this is the pipe into the soakaway, and all it is is a 90 degrees bend, which runs up here. And I put a manhole in as well in case we ever had to clean it out. And to be fair, it does keep itself pretty clean. And then from there, it goes under there into a big, big soakaway to let all the water drain away. So the idea of it is. All the soil, mud, whatever goes down there, it sinks to the bottom of the pit. And then any water, because obviously when this rises up, the water level never goes above the top of that pipe. And then all the water obviously runs up there into the soakaway and disperses. And then obviously when this gets full, we take this grid off and dig any soil out or whatever may be in the bottom of it. And then also around the edge, this bit here isn't actually concrete. This is like a steel bit of angle iron that it sits in. And when you put that angle iron in, you obviously concrete it in. And what we did, over e out of each corner, we welded on like two bits like that. So if you ever catch that with the JCB, it's not going to rip it out of the concrete. So on each corner, it's got like two big sort of anchors all around on every four corner. Just so that, you know, if anyone comes along and scrapes it and hits that, if we ever bent that, we can replace it. Whereas if they hit that bit of angle iron, they'd rip it all out and wreck it. So that's in there really strong. And then to put the grid back on, we just slot it back on like that. And there we are. It's in, done, cleaned out. And then usually, I would say you probably have to empty it maybe maybe once a year. Depends how much you're using the 
using the pressure washer bay really but yeah i hope you've enjoyed watching this video just a shame i didn't really get any videos of uh making the wash bay but yeah it'll be interesting to see what other people have done with their wash bays and how they use use their wash bays or you know any other ideas what i could do to mine to make it easier and better to use 